Yeah, this is a good place to show it. So here was our original reference. And here is what we ended up doing for the song transcription. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for Change Part 18 Overlap. In today's episode, we re-entered reflecting that there was a kind of concern. We're working on song transcriptions on a commission and we feel like there's sometimes cross-feeding between the work that we're working on, which is multiple custom scales and full tonality, and then what might be considered more traditional songwriting lyrics. Um, and it showed as a reluctance to jump back in and get those things handled. Um, so we just proceeded, we just proceeded. Um, and we realized that there is some overlap in interest, especially rhythm section and composition, because this thing, so that was the son clave, this is the rumba version. And this is the bossa nova. Now those all use ride cymbal. These are, use bell. So what we ended up doing was mixing a little bell, cowbell, here, with the bass, and there. And if we temporarily mute the lyric, this is the rhythm we get. And to be honest, that doesn't fit any of these exactly whatsoever. So we did, we ended up creating a custom Latin-ish rhythm and we liked that. So, so that was a good result. There's an overlap. So um, then we finished, we finished the second transcription. And uh, this is what it looks like when you look at it in traditional uh, uh, music view, and, and we don't include all this, we just show the lyric. And so it turns out to be a three-page piece with, with uh, three verses. And the verses fit the melody pretty well. So, like this one here is, uh, what is it? Let a little mambo to your heart, and here it's third verse, when you let a little mumbo stand by your side. So that all fit. No issues there. What turned out to be interesting is that when we went to this one, uh, four verses, we got the first verse handled. Is where a new measure of wealth print that I've told myself. But when you, the minute you get to the second line, you didn't have much to say. You. Oh, stop it. You didn't have much to say, so there was a big long wait in there, but that was okay. And then, but later on, there's a lot of differences. Like here, and cross class romance. Romance. And the, anyway, the point is, there's a lot of places. So we did a little research about how we were going to address that because at the moment we just punted and we we scored it for the first verse. But this is how you score things for um, first verse here is just a solid half note, but this verse here is two quarter notes. So this plays like. So we're going to review what this looks like with the client and then see, make confirm how they want these words to fit down there. And then we'll probably end up going back and using alternative note notation. So what we'll do is uh, to wrap us up, we'll just play this thing without repeats. It repeats three times. We'll turn those off. We'll let the whole thing rip and that'll bring us home. So here we go.
So that ends today's stream. Our ideas for next time are to continue. Uh, we'll have our client review, but probably not before our next stream. So we're going to return to the it series and uh, return to our uh, possibly also return to our reference work on the second pentatonic scale heptatonic scale and our good old friend to be determined shout outs to miss cleo who was there inspiring us for a new custom latin rhythm and penny vodka who we looked up alternative note dotation on our MuseScore uh, support forum and they had provided this little example for somebody else and so we borrowed it that's their online name tune in next time to see what happens do take care do come back and do keep on streaming.